Now that we have covered the basics of masking, let's take a look at an intermediate technique. While masks are often painted or created manually, you can also generate them dynamically based on the shape and detail of the model you have. Basically, we can generate masks by topology. Now, uh, if you will see, I have this uh, skull, which is from the Z sketch tutorial. You can find that uh, like the link in the description below to download this one. Or if uh, you already have it, so you can use this one. Or if you don't have this, it doesn't matter, you can use your own file. Now, this typically works better with organic models, and we have this organic model over here, or models with a lot of details of, you know, or just maybe like a lot of surface details. But it can be done on simple low poly models as well. So let's get into the masking sub palette here. So I will just go back here, uh, down here, and then I will go to the masking sub palette. Now, what we have here is the mass bicavity. So let, let's look at the mass bicavity first, and then we will move to the other ones. Now, what the mass bicavity does, it looks at the tiny details of my surface, like whatever tiny details I have over here, like suppose this nose. Let me turn off my symmetry. You can see the you know, like the teeth part like here and then you know some details over here as, and as well as some other parts okay so that's what it usually look and uh after that what it do is that it look all these uh, little details and tries to find little intentions which i showed you just before or depression or little sunken in details that can be masked out so all the like details as I showed you before, you have this depressions here, some you have the sunken areas here, and all those things. Now I typically like to have the intensity either way, uh, like you know, up here. Intensity right now it's zero, so I will make it hundred, okay, which is going to mask inside the cavities or all the way to the negative hundred if I will do that and what it will do that it uh, it will do the opposite it will mask any sort of raised area and you can always invert the mask so these are the two basic uh, the settings I usually use uh, whenever I'm working on the uh, my mask by the topology something you might want to do is play with the blur so right now the blur value is two so I usually like to keep the blur pretty low like around one something like that okay so that's uh what i usually use over here so uh with the negative value let's see with the negative what we get here so if i will go back here negative and after that what i will do here is that i will try to create now this mass by cavity as soon i will press here and you can see that the mask is on the area that are pretty much you can say raised okay like which is out of the surface which is going outwards which is uh, you know you can say um, more like uh, uh, convex okay so that's what it do and which is raised off the surface now interesting thing is that my blur right now is one as I will in Increase the blur the less blurry my uh, like my cavity mask will be like suppose if I will make it 5 and mask by cavity and you can see that it's becoming sharper so as I'm increasing the blur value more sharp and, sh and sharper it is sharper and sharper it is like, like getting so you can see that but if I will go to lower so less sharper it will be so now uh, let me try with the positive value of 100, okay? And I'll keep the mask of uh, blur, the cavity mask blur of uh, one. And if I will press mask by cavity, and you can see it has masked the area which was sunking in, which was basically a, like a detail going inwards rather than going outwards, okay? And if I will increase this to somewhat five the blur value and try again you can see it is getting sharper and sharper 
So this is useful if you want to increase the intensity of some of this detail by you know by changing the, uh, the blur value and all those things. So now if I will take the standard brush tool and you know I can go here and start you know making these changes, softening this up. So you can see that what it is doing is that it's creating us uh, like a noisy sculpture which gives you you know details. Uh, this is useful uh, for accentuating some of these raised area. Okay, so it will create this kind of these kind of like uh, effects over here with the help of this uh, cavity mask with the positive value as I am now allowed to work on my raised areas and maybe sometimes if you want to create uh you know if you want to increase the details over here so for that purposes also you can use these cavity masks especially you know highly useful when you're doing uh sort of a uh like organic models you can turn on your uh symmetry also so highly used when you're doing the organic model so you can see how it has affected over here so a, a, a very good way of uh, creating wrinkles if you have a uh, like a model of a person or pores and all those things so it's, it quite helps a lot and also for poly painting if you want to create shadows and all those things that's uh, also it will help okay so let me go back and, and do this whole thing here okay now uh, talking about the shadow we also have uh, a one a more technique of doing the masking here which is known as mask by AO means mask by ambient occlusion and here it is so uh, I will just go over here and work with this now so mask by AO or mask by ambient occlusion is a sort of like a cavity but it instead of looking at the surface detail it's going to look for the overall shape and how those shapes create cavity areas between larger shapes now for this i usually like to bring the occlusion intensity all the way up to the maximum okay maybe something like 10 over here and now i will click make a uh, mask by ambient occlusion here so as you know that it will it, it is typically takes a longer to process especially if you have a really high poly model this can take a while so now as you can see it has mass here so let's zoom out a bit here to see what it has done so far so basically what we have here is that it's ignoring some of the finer details sunken areas but it's now looking at the larger area that are sort of tucked away now this is particularly useful for painting texture maps and we'll get into the, the part later on we will learn how we can do the poly painting and other stuff okay so if you want to uh, like paint shadows and those kind of things uh, they are being occluded by other parts of the model this is a really great way to isolate those areas with the help of the, uh, you know, uh, mass by ambient occlusion. So, uh, good for poly painting. Uh, you can also use for the, you know, for your sculpting also. But uh, I I usually use it for the poly painting and those kind of things because, uh, you know, it does can work with the uh, with the sculpting also but i really want uh, I, I i really like to work with the poly painting here especially if i want to give some uh you know uh, like a curvature uh edge and wear feeling where the some part of the like my art of my model is being uh, like you can say destroyed or there is a shadow over there and th those kind of things let me clear this mask control and drag over here so one last thing we'll take a look at the mask adjust so i will let me do one thing let me 
keep that mask over here because mask I just want to do is that it adjusts your mask that is on your screen right now so let me close this one and we'll go to the mask adjust now so I will click here in the mask adjust and you will see that here we have mask adjust profile so I will click over here so it's kind of like levels or curves in Photoshop that you have it's basically going to take the current values and then reapply this curve to them so uh, let's click apply and see what we get by default so if I will if you can see that this area is you know the highlighted area is the curve of your uh, adjust so just apply it and you can see what so by default this is basically a black or white 100% on or 100% off sort of mask because you can see here the black and the white so if we undo this and create our own curve and let's see what is the result here okay so maybe i can just go here do some changes okay and then apply that so you can see what it is doing it's a little bit different it's counting these curves here and what else i can do here is that let me to hold this take this off out of the screen okay just pull it off and then it will be uh, like gone so here this one is creating a curve so if i will apply again hit undo and then apply again so you can see it's more smoother sort of thing so with the mask adjust you can adjust easily your mask and this is how it is going to work so you can uh, drag these curve points around and if you drag them off the screen you can you can get rid of them and then you can bring just like what i did right now you can bring uh, and uh, like points back in and then you can just try to adjust them the way you want it so in short what this curve is doing is that it's saying that any area that is sort of half mask if you see that are going to increase in their mask intensity so that's how it, it usually works and go the other way as well and apply that and now any areas that are 50% mass are going to decrease and in their intensity so you can play with the curves after you create a mass so here you can see you can just work with these intensity and see how what kind of results you get so all right so uh, there you have uh, even more tools and techniques for masking specific details and structures here but uh, the one that I just show you are the one that I usually use most of the time okay so you can do the mask peaks and mask value so uh, peaks and valleys we have already studied in this soft brush uh, for like softening your details you can also mask with the peaks and valleys so totally up to you just play around and see uh, how you can mask it out usually i use uh, like most of these for uh, like poly painting but you can also use them for the sculpturing so if you have liked this video and you have learned uh, some more thing about the masking here please like my video uh, if you have any question, you can leave in the comment section. And also, please uh, share my videos uh, so that I can get more and more uh, subscriber. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe it now. I will be posting a lot of things for that. You can just click on the uh, bell icon so you can get the daily notifications. And please uh, watch my videos online instead of downloading them because if you will download them, I will not get enough watch time hours. And I need watch time hours to get motivated so I can uh, start and I can have my road through all these monetizations and everything which will encourage me to create more and more uh, like content so also if I will get I can make more money I can buy a good computer here so that I can create more and more better content for you all so thanks everyone for enjoying my videos and giving me love mm -hmm.